Blue-Eyed Soul singer from England at number 20, although the Blue-Eyed Soul not necessarily showcased in this particular record at number 20 on my fancy playlist, but it's a lost 45. I'd, I'd have to say this is sort of a meat and potatoes record from the 80s. Got a good beat to it, but somewhat nondescript. But uh, Steve Winwood with Freedom Overspill, the second, it's the second single from his uh, fourth album as a solo artist and the uh the album is called back in the high life again a lot of great people sang on this album at uh, the uh, steve Winwood. let's talk about steve Winwood for a minute the spencer davis group give me some love in late 66 early 67 i'm a man in 1967 and uh was it keep on loving or something like that 1967 steve Winwood, just a fiery salt fiery soul singer britain's spencer davis group rocking give me some love and one of the best rock and roll records i had to see 60s. And then he was late. He was uh, with Traffic, the group Traffic, pro progressive group group Traffic, with uh, Jim Capaldi. They had some hit records in England, although they were not quite as popular over here in the states. Except they did get some airplay on the FM radio stations back in the late 60s. And this was back when the FM radio stations were like progressive underground rock and roll radio stations. But uh, and then the, the solo career just zoomed in 1981. While well, you see a chance, take it around the spring of 1981, and then you get into these other hits by Steve Winwood in the 80s. Fowlery, the finer things. That was a nice record by him back in '87, and uh, of course there was also Fowlery, which came out in '82 and then re-released about five years later. But Higher Love, that was what that was his high point right there in the 80s. Summer of 1986, with some help by Shaka Khan in the background. This was this was Blue Eyed. This was Mr. Blue Eyed Soul right there, Steve Winwood on Higher Love. Summer of 86, that's from uh, Back in the High Life again, the first single. I think that song went to number one. I believe it did. Although Freedom Overspill didn't do quite as well. It's just not as commercial. It doesn't have quite the fervor. It doesn't have the uh, the exuberance of Higher Love. And the only guy as high as number 20 on Billboard's Hot 100. And sure enough, I think I... <laughs> I must have copied Billboard's Hot 100 on my fancy playlist that week because I got it peaking at number 20 on my fancy playlist. Guess who wrote this record with Steve Winwood? And the best part is what I'm going to tell you who played the slide guitar on this record. And by the way, James Taylor, he sang back up on Back in the High Life again. James Taylor did. Freedom Overspill was co-written by a guy. It was written by Steve Winwood and a guy named Will Jennings. Will Jennings had co-written some basically adult contemporary laid back records. He uh, won the records that he co-wrote with Richard Kerr. He teamed up with Richard Kerr back in the late 70s and a couple of songs he wrote for Barry Manilow. One of them was, uh, oh gosh, Looks Like We Made It. How can I forget that? God dog it. Looks Like We Made It. <laughs> Back in 1977, summer of 1977, remember old Barry Mallow, at the peak of his commercial proudness, his stellar arrangements, got a great voice, but uh, you can only take Barry Mallow like small to moderate doses though, I guess, but still a great record. Richard Kerr and Will Jennings also wrote a big hit for Dion Warwick back in 1979, I'll Never Love This Way Again. They wrote that. They all end up. Uh, Will Jennings co-wrote the song Up From Where We Belong, which was covered by Jennifer Warrens and Joe Cocker, 1982 at 1983. Uh, co-wrote Tears in Heaven with Eric Clapton. That was a big one for Eric Clapton in 92. But the biggest hit that he might have, that he'd written, Will Jennings wrote, My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. Went to number one from the movie The Titanic. That was in 1996. He co-wrote this record, Freedom Overspill, with Steve Winwood. Now, the best part. Yes, I know you've been waiting for this. Hurry up and get past Will Jennings. Just just get past Will Jennings. Just tell me who plays slide guitar on this record. Okay, okay, okay. Guy who plays slide guitar on this record? Joe Walsh. Mr. Rocky Mountain Way. <laughs> or was it Rocky Mountain High? No, it's Rocky Mountain Way. Joe Walsh of the Eagles. Played slide guitar. On this record at number 20, Steve Winwood, Freedom Overspill.